Yeah, Ferrari threw this up uh, yesterday, I think, on Twitter. I think, really, um, this thing looks fucking crazy. That's what yeah, it's well, this, supposed to do. This is what we've kind of been talking about the last three or four weeks about uh, the speculation about the rule changes for 2016 and 17 with the 1,000 right. horsepower. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Basically, um, Red Bull, Ferrari, and McLaren are the teams that are most pushing for these new rules. And... Uh, all the other teams are kind of not because of the money, right? But it's just sort of like the innovators again. Basically, yeah. Yeah. what clearly the, if they if they have sort of money to throw into an idea or a concept like this. But okay, but click over one link quickly before we move on. Yeah, this is the back of, and if you get maybe a side view, it doesn't well, it doesn't really matter. This is what the current Indy cars look like, which is very similar hmm. and much more efficient aerodynamically, like. These Indy cars with those covers over the back wheels. Yeah. First of all, as far as safety goes, you can't touch one of those with your open front wheels and fly over the your opponent's head. Oh, jeez. Well, and, right. Uh, Which would happen in F1. Yeah. Apparently, those create and with if you look at if you can see the sides, the floorboards of the car compared in conjunction with those back wheel covers creates so much extra downforce that on certain tracks they actually use the back wing to reduce the downforce oh shit yeah which is so you can go back that is, that is a very peculiar problem that they're faced with yeah. right now yeah so if you go back there to the ferrari you can scroll down till you can see the the other angle of it from uh, the back. Ooh. it's very similar right to oh what, shit to what indy's already doing and been doing yeah. this is basically this looks awesome yeah <laughs> this looks great yeah i think I'm okay with this it's aerodynamic but a lot yeah, there's an indy car underneath the target that's what they look the target car right, right Chip there Chip Ganassi right uh but yeah basically a lot i like aerodynamically it works a lot better and safety wise it works a lot better because you can't have these cars touch each other and flip over like what happened to weber a few years ago right. and yeah but I'm assuming, th- is this carbon fiber here? Yeah, yeah that's all. Okay. Yeah, it, the Those whole thing? Are, yeah, everything's yeah, carbon, all, all fiber, carbon fiber. Jeez. All of it. Yeah. Even new cars, too. Yeah. That's a drying. But yeah, if you, you just add I mean. glowing parts to this and you <laughs> raise it off the ground, that's fucking, that's hoverboard territory. <laughs> 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 yeah, it starts looking like a spaceship, not so much yeah. like a car, right? Yeah. But well, no, that's the future, man. That, that is the future. Or or will or will it like be like a dying sport, like European handball? You see, which I played last week, but <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but like, is it F one going to stay like F one or like when that new technology well, comes, will it? Sorry to go back to that. But no, no, no. I, I want to go back to that. Actually, today. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I really want to go back to that because. Go ahead, go ahead, Danny. Um, yeah, I was gonna say like basically this is what Bernie has been pushing for for next year though. Basically, he wanted oh, really the engines, uh, the thousand horsepower deal and all that. Probably 2017. Now they're saying, uh, in official language, possibly 2017. Okay. So we got at least two more years of the current formula anyways. This is uh, the little Pirelli talk we did last week. These are the concepts for where they want to go with the tires, the 18-inch rims. Okay. The lower profile tires, the fat back wheels. The cars are actually going to be wider. Like If you go to the Indy car, you can just see, or even the next uh, tab over. You can see how much, like, it's noticeably the body of the car is wider than in Formula One. Right, Which right. Gives you a lot more grip. Are these are these corners. tires here? Are they bigger than the front ones? Yeah, yeah. yeah. In in Ferrari, or sorry, in, in Formula, Formula One, one and well. in Indy. Oh, really? It's like that's just the, in yeah. Formula One. It's a smaller difference. It's oh, a smaller okay. difference. But this is what they're pushing for is yeah. the okay bigger difference. You get a lot more grip. But, oh, I had a question but, about this. I saw this sorry, go ahead. Circu- circulating around. Uh, yeah. This here. Mm-hmm. It looks like it's attached. Like his head is attached. Well, that if eventually what what you want, um, and and and, and racing drivers right that. now, um, what what they have on their helmet is like sometimes it's visible, sometimes it's not because they make it with like transparent plastic. Right. But they have this like little wing, almost like a spoiler, oh, like shit. sticking out of like the back of their car of of their helmet. But the thing is that what what you want is that you, your helmet to not be. Um, like a, an aero negative element, right? Right, okay, because your that. your head sticking out of the car is actually something that the designers of these cars really don't like, right? <laughs> because it, yeah. no, it no messes shit. the airflow, right? Yeah, totally. So yeah, what they're what they're saying here is that if they somehow like 
came up with a solution to mold, like to meld like the the driver's helmet with the rest of the body work. That right. would work fantastically because you're getting some some air coming from here and then whoosh, going right to the back, down right. to this, yeah, down to the diffuser or something, doing some crazy stuff with the aerodynamics. And sorry, alternatively, uh, I don't know. They've sort of been talking about this for a couple of years on and off. I remember seeing maybe three or four years ago. BBC had some sort of engineering special about testing cockpits. Mm -hmm. The talk came up again last year after Jules Bianchi smashed his head about uh, basically building a cockpit. Actually, I didn't send you the link, but pull it up. Uh, the Red Bull X 2010. You can search that quick. Which uh, Red Bull put this out a few years ago as a concept. Right, by uh, sorry, X 2014. Maybe. Yeah, the 2014. Yeah, that's the newer one, I guess. This is uh, basically a concept that Adrian Newey put together that would be his, his Whoa. fucking dream. He's been actually leaving, I believe, Red Bull because of the restrictive rules. That basically he's saying, like, this year, and last year, as, yeah, as far as F1, he's, he's like the, the designer in F1. He's like, as far as aerodynamics goes. But he's, he's leaving because he's disillusioned, he's bored with it. He's saying basically last year and this year the cars are almost designed for you, which they're very restrictive on the right. Yeah, so like this is what windshield, this is a, like cockpit. Yeah, like, yeah. Shit, this is probably where it's going eventually. Yeah, they're, they're okay, saying that. So this looks like if there's another accident, it's gonna happen for sure. Oh really? Yeah. Well, I mean, they don't look like F1 cars don't look safe to me. I, well, what do I know? But I mean, like they don't feel safe to me. Well, I mean, one. Serious injury in 20 years, though. Oh, okay. As a so result of a crash. All. They've got a lot. Like, they, they've got they've massive, really, really yeah, far. Yeah, I'm sure so it with, seems with all safety. one in 20 years. I mean, that's... The yeah. No, yeah, no casualties since Senna. Felipe Massa so. got hit with a spring. He was in a coma. I think it was a spring. Bounced off another car. Ugh. Hit him in the face. And then uh, Gilles Bianchi, you saw his crash right. into the backhoe or whatever he hit. Anyway, but if it happens again, I think they'll bring these. They've tested them. They've, they've built. They've been. They've been dealing. Like they've been toying with the idea of of doing something like this. I think the the main safety consideration is that um, if the car flips over and lands like you know like upside down, yeah. then how is the driver going to get out? Mm. Um, but I mean, other than that, if the cars and also if the cars end up looking like this, um, would it like would it be I think I think they think that the fans won't really like that, but psh, I don't. I think it'd bring yeah. actually yeah. new fans. <laughs> yeah, if every other because if it looks like a sci-fi race from the future, I'm <laughs> yeah. fucking in. Man. Yeah, you know what I mean. Every yeah. other type of racing, like Le Mans or whatever, any of those, any. Oh other wait, I know what I want. Covered. I know what I want F1 to turn into. You're sitting in a cockpit. <laughs> Here we go. Um. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's probably some of the inspiration. Yeah, look at this shit. Yeah. Super Nintendo. They've Boom. been thinking about this for since way back. <laughs> yeah, they knew what was going on. <laughs> at Falcon. Where, where is it at? <laughs> that's what I'm talking. Oh, Wii U. Okay, here we go. Okay, yeah. See, this is anti grav, and then like these like twenty foot story turns. Yeah, but that's an oval. If you look at the at, at oh, the yeah, track yeah. design here, so screw that. <laughs> I don't. I don't want F1 to ever like have to resort to racing in ovals ever uh, again. Okay. No. <laughs> what about loop de loops? <laughs> <laughs> loop de loops would be cool. Yeah. This, once you, Ra some rainbow road yeah. kind of shit. Yeah. Once you invent anti gravity. Yeah. yeah that's gonna be. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Let's. <laughs> let's. I, I. I think that F1 should be setting their sights on racing in Mars. Oh. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> <laughs> some red line shit. Kind of yeah. <laughs> So have some race it, on like some uh, it, 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 some it, neutral ground. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Mars, has, Mars GP 2037. Yeah, yeah. that'll be the first. Once those uh, Norwegian guys get there, yeah, that'll be their first task. But who sets to go, go to Mars first? Oh, There's man. a bunch of people. I thought it was like Elon signed. Musk. Is yeah, yeah, he, he's, 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 he's a big, like, we're going to go there. And he Neil Armstrong's like, him. no. <laughs> Elon Musk wants to go for real, but there's the uh, a Norwegian sort of business idea they need a few billion dollars they they had over 80,000 applications maybe more than that eventually but oh my god there's interest to get off this planet for sure yeah a buddy of mine actually <laughs> he sent in a, <laughs> yeah, a buddy of mine sent in an application they wanted a video from you they had somewhere close to 100,000 it's narrowed down to about 400 people oh i think they're god. gonna choose eight to begin with but they're going there and they are not coming back whoa yeah that's crazy and they want to Basically, pay for this whole thing by doing a reality series about it. 
putting it on TV. That's how they want to. F- oh. Like the training starts yeah. soon in the desert when they choose people. Like you have to go live in the desert in basically the same habitat you'd be on Mars for a couple of years before you go to Mars. Yeah. Oh for lots God. of reasons that you can. You, can you have to really with. like the people you're with. Yeah, well, you that's gotta a, like that's the, the thing. You got to like living in the bubble. You got to like growing all your own food and taking care of that every day. Never going outside. Oh man! <laughs> Wait, is, it, is, is Mars is that is Mars that hostile? In terms oh. of uh, yeah, you can't go outside. I, I think I think any planet other than Earth is pretty hostile for a human. We, we went to the moon. <laughs> I mean, that doesn't even have it's an not atmosphere. Even a, yeah, it's not even a planet. Yeah, there's no planet. atmosphere. You yeah, but it's still pretty. Suit. Yeah, I mean, there is atmosphere on Mars. Is there not? Yeah. Yeah. I'm on sure Mars, there must, yeah, there is. I'm sure it's it not oxygen. That, though. But, yeah, well, you, you wear a space suit, obviously, but. Yeah, you're gonna have to go outside sometime. It gets really cold. If at we could be in the vacuum of space, I'm pretty sure we can fucking. It gets like North Pole cold at night, though, like near the equator. Yeah, but I mean, <coughs> shit, <laughs> it's not that cold. The North Pole. That's, it was colder in Toronto than the, the North Pole. Oh, you saw that? that I saw it. <laughs> North Pole, get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> 